Hello there. Well, you've all seen me show a few variations on methods for gluing odd shaped pieces of wood together. Uh, I do a lot of segmented turning and obviously that's uh, what I have to do quite frequently is glue these wedges together. Now, I've shown the uh, special jaws I make for a vise and the uh, board where you glue or screw down the stopper blocks with a little lever and you can glue the pieces that way. And that's good for flat stock. But now I've got to glue this together. It's about four inches tall. This is for a project I'm working on and in fact I'm using the gluing board that I showed in a previous video right now for another part of this. And uh, gluing these pieces together, uh, this is going to be part of an eight-sided glue up so these are the 22 and a half degree angles that I've cut and I've glued two pieces together into two groups here and uh, now I have to glue them together like this and to clamp this clearly there's no place to put a clamp I mean you, you, there's just no place to apply a clamping pressure that won't slip off when I glued these halves together I because of how short the segments are and the angle, I was just able to put rubber bands around this and hold it together. And that works well, as you can uh, see. You just get uh, a bunch of these rubber bands and you put them on there. When you get things in place, you hold them for a little while and the rubber bands will do the trick uh, while you let the glue set. But now I want to glue these together. There is a simple trick to do this with a clamp. You make clamping shoes. As you can see, this is a fairly simple thing to cut on your bandsaw. And the way to use them is you put one on each side. And you let it hook on the edge like this. You put them down near the bottom. And now you've got a clamping surface to push on. And as you can see, I can pick this right up, holding it with just the pressure this way. The way you align this is when these are together you want to apply your clamping force as much towards the center as possible right here so you you can imagine a straight line going through there and ending out here that's where you want to put the clamp shoe the way to make the uh, clamp shoe is you just get a, a piece of wood a small piece that will be big enough you put it on the piece that you uh, already have glued up and you can see that running that line through there will give me a, a surface area here to clamp onto. Then you just take your pencil, go underneath and draw a line on the flat surface of the lower piece here and this is important that you get this line here. And then you'll end up with, right here is the wedge you want to pull out. Once you do that, when you clamp it or hook it on this lip, you can position this uh, where you want it near the center. And just get your uh, masking tape. And tape it in position just to hold it while you get things lined up. That will hold it where you need it. I'll put the, this one on here. And I suppose you could, if you wanted to, spot glue it on, double stick tape it on. Uh, clearly masking tape will work and it's simple enough. And now they're held in position. And now I can get my clamp I've got a board here to hold it up because uh, I just want it fairly close to lined up. Once you get this in position, you'll be able to clamp it and hold that glue joint. I wanted to show you that. Uh, I'm going to clamp these together now. Uh, once you uh, get the glue in place, and I'm using a piece of veneer in between as I usually do, you can get all that together and this will be ready for you. And once you get it lined up, put your pressure on, 
a little bit, check your alignment, make sure everything's where you want it, a little more pressure, and you're good to just leave it and let it cure. Thought I'd show you that little trick uh, for these taller sections.